Hey folks, I just want to do a quick video on the Chrome update that has caused so many problems with the Cricut Design Space plugin being able to load and run. And I know a lot of people received the email from Cricut, if not everyone, and some other folks have made some great videos as well, but I want to address a couple of things that, that are maybe getting skipped and missed for various reasons. One thing is I feel that there's a lot of people, and I've had confirmation from a lot of people that I've helped with this, that they went out and did the fix, even though they weren't having any problems. And what has happened is that Google Chrome has updated afterwards and then broke it. And then people are not going back and doing the steps properly to fix it again, because they think they've already done some of it. But they have not, because Chrome had not updated yet. So um, I wanted to show a few things. First, in Design Space, when you see this little triangle, people are seeing this on their system and clicking on it and thinking that it's creating a problem because it says identity not verified. This doesn't have anything to do with how uh, Design Space is performing or working or anything. It has to do with the HTTPS security of the transmission of the information. So that's normally not going to cause any problems. So you can safely ignore that. Uh, little triangle icon that pops up. Now, most people that are having this problem, when they go to install the Cricut plugin, it's just having them download it and prompting them over and over again. So, what has to happen is to put this address in your browser. I posted three steps. I'm going to put the link to my post down in the description of the video below so everyone can see it. And it's very important that everyone who's having this problem Go do all three steps. Forget that you've ever done anything. Start over. Follow my three steps. And don't skip anything. Because when you do, that means you're not fixing it. You're ignoring it because you think you've already done it. But Chrome is updated and changed your settings on you again. Okay? So first, put that address in that's in step number one. And I'm going to put these steps in the video description below as well. And this page will come up. And you can hit Control plus F and search on NPAPI. And you will find this entry. This is Enable NPAPI for Mac and Windows. Enables the use of NPAPI plugins. And if it's enabled, this link will say Disable. It will, if it is not enabled, it will say this. If it says Enable, you have to click it one time. It will change to Disable. And then you click the Relaunch Now button with Chrome, and it will restart Chrome for you. Now, the second step is to type in this address. And again, these steps and addresses will be in the information down below. And when you bring up your plugins, you will find that the Cricut plugin now shows up. And it should say Disable as well. That means that it is enabled. And you can put a check in the box that says Always Allowed to Run. And then relaunch Chrome again. If you're prompted to install the plugin, which most people aren't, they can just relaunch it and it takes right off. But if you are, just reinstall it and it should be good to go after that. So again, follow all three steps. Do them. Do not skip anything. Do them over again. And do what, what is listed in what I've shown you in this video. And it should take care of your problems with Google Chrome. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.